Wix Sport website tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a sport themed website into your Wix platform. So the process is going to be very easy and very simple. Follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. Wix is well known for creating free websites and the beneficial of Wix are going to be here creating a uh, website with the most simplific way possible. So now what are we going to do is to head over Wix.com. Then we are going to sign in or sign up for an account if you do not have one. If you have already uh, an account with Wix and you have created websites, it is going to be easy for you to navigate through this process. And if it is going to be your first time seeing Wix, how it will work and how it is going to create a website, you need to follow up attentively the uh, tutorial of today. Now, here, as you can see, we are on the Wix website uh, or sites dashboard. I am going to click on create a new site. This is for the, um, let's say, uh, experimented Wix navigator. And if you are a new, you are going only to see this page, which will allow you to create a new website. Now we are going to click on create on Wix editor. And from here, we are going to follow up the steps that we need to set up the website with. So basically here, what Wix is going to present to you is a Wix ADI or Wix artificial design intelligence and this is going to be an ai set up only for helping you create a website and a dashboard for your website that is going to be personalized for you and that by answering some questions that the ai is going to uh, put for you that is going to be a easy step for you to do and you can go ahead and work with it or by start chatting or set up without the chat I'm going to ignore the chat for here. So basically here, if you are going to ignore the chat, you're going to get this type or this page. What type of website do you want to create? Here, we are going to type in the themed website that we have chosen. Specifically here, we are going to type in sport. And then we are going to see the suggestion from uh, Wix. Now we have sports club, sports community, bloggers, team, etc. So we are going to select from here the most convenient sport website that we want. For example, here we are going to add a sport or here sport community or sp or sport blogger. For example, I'm going to here put the sport blogger, for example, here or a sport forum. So I'm going to click on blogger. I think this is a better. So we are going to publish the news about sports and any type of sports. I'm going to click on continue. Why maybe you are going to ask why I have put a blogger and not team and not everything. Each one of the categories and the types are going to have here an individual, uh, let's say Wix theme. So we are going to get straight to the point with this. Here we are going to get the load of the dashboard. It is loading and now we can go ahead and call it the control center of our website because from here you can go ahead and add the blog posts, the blogs, the products if you want to put a product and also manage the payment methods and shipping if you are going to sell some physical products. Now let's start by uh, here setting up the name of the website. We're going to put it for example, Jack's Sport News. And then we're going to put it like this. I'm going to click on continue. Now, what are the goals for this website? Either here you are going to choose one of these or you can go ahead and skip these steps. I'm going to put here build a community, promote myself, for example, this, uh, display creative work, here, collect leads, your knowledge. Also, you can go ahead and promote a business if you want and select here, sell products. Maybe you are going to sell some t-shirts, something like that, special for sports and offer services. I'm going to click on continue here to head over the next step, which is going to be normally the apps that we are going to use, or it is going to set up uh, the app 
uh, automatically so we are going to wait for the next step which is going to set up manually here are the apps we have the blog the online store the bookings the instagram feed you can go ahead and add or discover more apps like forms events if you are going to create some events online programs chats groups like that we are going to need the groups here online programs for example training and etc and also some subscriptions we need the pricing plans and that is to create memberships and subscriptions we are going to click on continue and here we have set up the first step we are going to continue to our dashboard that was the first and primary step to create or set up our dashboard correctly so here basically the wix is going to be installing the different apps and the different services that we are going to present into our store and as you can see on the left side of the screen this bar was a little bit empty in before but here it is a little bit complete so you can go ahead and see here the different management of the uh, articles or the services that you have put here for example we have booking calendar so we have uh, also the events the catalog for products and we have set up the online store or selling products the blogs the online programs categories and etc also the groups that you are going to create to here uh, like a forums to gather people and also create a topic let them talk about it and generate more traffic for you so here we are going to start by just little by little so if you are going to set up any event you can go ahead and complete the uh, uh, here are the events for setting up the categories and the staff but here before I talk about these type of services that we are going to provide we are going to head over the setup or the home page and continue designing our website and this is the most important part here so I'm going to click on design site and it will take us normally to a uh, let's say template creator or a template uh, chooser so we are going to head over here and wait for the creation now you're going to get two choices either you are going to customize a template uh, from uh, the templates that they have on their wix library or you are going to generate a design with the ai so i'm going to let you here see both for example here pick a template we are going to work with the manual method we are going to see pick a template and then we are going to uh here head over the templates library that uh, is contained into wix we are going to see if the templates or the themes that are presented are going to be suiting us or uh, going to be here something that we need we're going to choose one of them if they are not we are going to choose the automatic or the generating method which is going to be following the wix adi policy now here we have the sport blogger as you can see type so we are going to see here a fan club or sport fan club blogging podcast a blog as you can see sport teams fan club and etc so you can go ahead and select one of these uh, templates or uh, themes and go with it you can go ahead and view it or you can edit that template as much as you want it is not going to be limited to this type of template you can here set up or explore as many templates as you want and put your design here in the place of their preset design obviously but here it is going to be setting up only the recommended one for you so you can go ahead and get a preset or a pre-built website so you can know where to start and where to finish and not creating it from scratch now you can go ahead also and uh, head over the bl blank templates and create your own step by step I'm not going to waste my time here uh, putting up the blank templates but instead I'm going to be back here and let you see how we can generate a design with the AI so when you click on generate a design the website or the Wix ADI has an idea on about your website so how it will look the uh, generated designs are going to be a little bit generic this is how I saw the editors or the generated ones it is not going to be here a final version but you can go ahead and see that the this is a prototype 
so you can tweak the design regenerate and put whatever so it is not going to be here the same but it it, it can be here set up to a better prompt to get a more specified design i'm not a pro or, or an expert into the wix adi but i think that uh you could or you can get here a better version if you know how to prompt or put the right description for the website now if you see the site brief appearing and also concluding here a resume that means that your website is ready and this is the brief of your website so based on your site profile your sport blogger site will have here a site structure which includes one page and you're going to see here the description site description the site feature and the classy fonts so you are going to head here and see the different fonts that are put so this is a different type of website creation i wasn't getting this type of the websites uh, yet but i think that this is better so you can see here the services the blogs and etc if you want to change the layout or tweak the design click on here or if you want to regenerate the design you are going to click on here and then you are going simply to uh, get another design so i'm going basically here to click on continue with this design if i am satisfied and then we are going to click on continue to the editor if you do not want to buy a domain yet and set up your business so i'm going to click on continue to the editor and it will load up right away the website so here we have our website it is ready so we have a baked a, a completely new website which is not generic and i have to admit that this is a great website so you can basically here modify the website by adding some elements and here adding some sections if you want or pages or manage the pages and menus from here and see everything every type or every part that we have selected like the blogs the events the groups and the pricing plans for the subscriptions is going to be here so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one